generally inspires me is the desire to create something that exists only in my own universe. My main source of inspiration is my life as a skateboarder, growing up as a skateboarder, the way I approach my art as a skateboarder. Well, the first time we went to Paris, I was really overwhelmed at how beautiful everything was. Just the streets and the architecture and the people and the day-to-day -day living. I always get inspired by beauty in surroundings and Paris definitely has so much beauty. One of them would definitely be the Eiffel Tower. To me, it represents love and it's the icon. I got into sign painting through DC Shoes actually when we were doing a project called The Circus of Mutants back in 2010. So we actually started touring with DC to cities like Paris, Manila, Mexico. All these cities with like a lot of history. We were riding on a bus and I got subconsciously inspired by the shops around the streets where the signboards are all still hand-painted. With that, I wanted to create that through my artwork. It became a form that we started to apply in our work. When I think of Paris in terms of colour, I actually think of macarons and all the pastry shops and the bakeries that are littered all over the city. Like, I, I love admiring pastries just from the window and they're, they're very delicate and pastel coloured and they just invite you visually to look at it and it's something pretty and sweet and really um, enticing. The last time we were in Paris, we had the privilege of giving a sneaker customizing workshop at the new DC Artist Hub. The Hub is actually a space where DC hosts art exhibitions. It, to sum it up, it's basically a, a studio for like-minded people to showcase their creativity. For these three pieces of art, I have approached it like the way I've approached everyday life like a skateboarder. I've been growing up skateboarding for the past 20-something years and I've always viewed daily objects very differently from a non-skateboarder. So I've incorporated like iconic objects that a skateboarder would connect with when they see it. So these objects are like a picnic table and a cone. So I believe that almost every skateboarder would have tried to ollie over a cone or to do something on a picnic table. We kind of view things very differently. When we see it, we could express our creativity with these daily objects. And I believe that's the philosophy of evolving beyond your surroundings. Bonjour Paris, this is Mr and Mrs Sabotage and this is our life. <laughs>